What's up guys, Takedown here with another WWE pay-per-view prediction. Today I'm going to be talking about and give my prediction on the Greatest Royal Rumble. Now before I start and give my opinion on all the matches, I do just want to say I love the fact that it's in Saudi Arabia. Over there there's diehard fans, like always, uh, but so much that they believe everything in WWE is 100% real. So I think in WWE's mind, it's a marketing genius, and I back them up for choosing that location for this big pay-per-view. I think they're going to make a lot of money from it. Uh, my only flaw with it is, what is it for, really, other than a trophy and bragging rights? They haven't announced anything. It's not like you're going to get a main event WrestleMania, or you're going to get a match at WrestleMania for the championship. I do hope whoever wins, it's either somebody that's going out and retiring, and that's going to be their last big match, or it's somebody that uh, is new that's going to get a shot for the championship and hopefully win it. To have this 50-man Royal Rumble, it's insane, and I can't wait to see it. But let's just get into the video, the uh, prediction parts. Starting with the top of the list, I don't think it's going to be the first match that they do that night, but it's how they have it listed on the WWE.com, so I'm going to start with it. Undertaker versus Rusev in a casket match. Now, this was the original match. Then it got swapped out with Undertaker versus Jericho, which I was amped for. I was ready for that. I thought that would have been a way better match. They haven't fought since I think it was 2010. That's what it said, at least. And uh, Jericho's never been in a casket match, so he really wanted to be in it. But then they switched it back to Rusev. I don't know why. One thing is that... Uh, for storyline, they said that Lena didn't want Rusev to do it, but really they thought they were going to retire Undertaker. That's what Rusev's plan was. And I do think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be a hell of a battle. But at the end of the day, casket match, it's Undertaker's match. Undertaker's going to win. That's my, my official prediction. If it was Jericho, I would say it could go either way for storyline. Because I think Jericho winning a casket match against The Undertaker... Shows guts and shows he can be really athletic, but since it's Rusev, I'm going to say it's The Undertaker. Moving on, we have the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar. He re-signed with the WWE. He's going to be facing Roman Reigns yet again in a WrestleMania rematch, basically, at the Greatest Royal Rumble. I see it this time going Roman Reigns' way. I did predict that for Mania, and it didn't happen. Actually, I can't remember what I predicted for Mania, but... I was thinking it's going to happen that way because I think uh, Lesnar wasn't going to re-sign. But since he did, he won. I think Roman Reigns is going to win now. Because I'm pretty sure he's only signed to a few matches. A couple pay-per-view and live events. That's it. Then we're likely not going to see Lesnar anymore. So it's not like he's signed for another year or two. Or anything major. So I'm going to say Roman, Way Roman Reigns is going to win. Beat Brock Lesnar. Be the Universal Champion. Not all fans are going to like that, but in Saudi Arabia, I think the fans are going to be amped for that match. I can just guess that right now. Next up, WWE Championship, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Again, a WrestleMania rematch. I think that's why they're doing it in Saudi Arabia, to kind of give them a live matchups from WrestleMania. But AJ Styles won at Mania. I say, once again, Shinsuke is going to win. That was my prediction for Mania, but I think since it's a rematch, I think Shinsuke is going to win, and I think it's going to be a hell of a match. I think Shinsuke deserves a championship. He hasn't gotten a championship since moving up to the main roster. I think it's a good championship for him. Of course, it's SmackDown's main title. I think that's going to happen there. Uh, John Cena versus Triple H. They haven't fought since it's either 2010 or 2011. So a long time. Um, I don't know what stemmed about this. It was announced before WrestleMania. Triple H versus Cena. I could see it going either way, honestly, when you look at it. But I think Cena is going to win. If not, I think Cena might do a heel turn. But I think I'm going to say John Cena is going to win. That just makes sense to me. United States champion Jeff Hardy versus Jinder Mahal. By the way, Grand Slam champion Jeff Hardy now. I'm a huge Hardy fan. I'm a huge Jeff Hardy fan. Beating Jinder Mahal was great. Jinder Mahal is on Raw now. That's how the United States Championship went to Raw. That's where uh, Jinder Mahal lost the championship. And then Jeff Hardy the next day got traded to or switched up to uh, SmackDown. So if Jinder Mahal wins, 
the Universal or the United States Championship is going to be on Raw. But if Jeff Hardy win, wins, it's going to stay on SmackDown. Something tells me Jinder's going to win just so they can have a championship switch. But I really want Jeff Hardy to win. So I'm going to say Jeff Hardy is going to win. And it's going to stay on SmackDown. That's my prediction for the match. Bray Wyatt and Woken Matt Hardy versus Sheamus and Cesaro. I'm pretty sure it's for the Tag Team Championships. I want to see Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt win. Matt Hardy would be a two-time Raw uh, Tag Team Champion after that. So I really think they're going to win. It's an odd pairing. I would have rather Jeff Hardy come back. I didn't want Jeff Hardy to be like a broken Jeff Hardy or anything like that. I'm really glad how Jeff Hardy returned as I remember him last in the WWE. So it's really good. I'm going to say Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt are going to win. That's who I really want to see win. Uh, the Bludgeon Brothers versus the Usos. I'm a fan of the Usos. The Bludgeon Brothers are out there with their gimmick. I like the guys themselves, but that gimmick, it's something off with me. So I'm going to say the Usos are going to win. They're somebody that I enjoy now that they're heel, and I see them, them winning. Uh, the next one here, we have The Miz, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, and Smojo for the Intercontinental Championship. It is a ladder match. Miz and Smojo went to SmackDown. Finn Balor and Seth Rollins are on Raw. The championship is on Raw right now. So that's what I'm saying. If Jinder Mahal wins, it's likely that one of the SmackDown guys are going to win the Intercontinental Championship. That just makes sense for me. That way it'll switch up. So honestly, who I would like to see win? Seth Rollins, I think, is a great Intercontinental Champion. Samoan Joe, I think he deserves a shot. He hasn't held a championship since moving up to the main roster. I think it'd be good for him. The Miz, of course, Intercontinental Championship is his title. But at the end of the day, I'm going to say Samoa Joe. I know I said Jeff Hardy earlier, and it's going to contradict with two championships on one brand, but I really want Samoa Joe to win. I'm going to say Samoa Joe is going to win, but likely we're going to see uh, Seth Rollins or Finn Balor win it so it can stay on Raw. We shall see. And then last up, we have the historic 50-man Greatest Royal Rumble match. And I ha it's pretty interesting who I think is going to win. I don't know if Undertaker is going to be in it, but if he is, I'd say Undertaker. Jericho's in it. I'm really hoping Kane's in it. And I'm really hoping some more legend superstars are in it. Because I see it, since it's the Greatest Royal Rumble match, I see it kind of like a great way to go out. Jericho's just returning. It'd be great to have him win the Greatest Royal Rumble match. In WWE history, I think that'd be really interesting to see. My pick's going to be Chris Jericho, but I don't know all the legends in it. We might see Kane in it. That'd be really interesting to end his career winning that. Like I said, Undertaker. Bobby Lashley, I'm assuming, is going to be in it. That would be amazing. Maybe, once again, the return of Rey Mysterio in a Royal Rumble. That would be cool. But I'm going to say it's going to be one of the guest people that win it. Just because I think that's going to spark so much more attention. It's going to be really dynamic. And uh, it's going to be a great match. So I'm going to say Chris Jericho, Kane, or Bobby Lashley are going to be my picks for the greatest Royal Rumble match winners. But comment down below who you think is going to win. How you guys think the pay-per-view is going to go. I think it's going to be amazing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch it the day it happens. Just because it's on Friday. And I, I'm pretty sure I work Friday. But we shall see. I'll give you guys an update. Maybe if that's what you guys want of who actually wins and give my opinions on the pay-per-view itself. But comment down below and let me know how you guys think and what you guys think of the matchup and the pay-per-view itself. But I'll leave this video here. Please take care. Hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.